Hi, my name is Jennifer Hudak, and I am your child's English 3 British literature teacher. I'd like to begin by telling you a little bit about myself. This is my sixth year teaching at Mates, and I'm not only a teacher, but I am the proud parent of a Mates graduate. My son, Stephen, graduated Mates in 2017, and he will be graduating Rowan University this spring in May as a double major, computer science and economics, so I'm extremely proud of him. I also have a son who is a junior here at Mates, so I think that Mates uh, is a great program. I can attest to the fact that students who go through the program here at Mates do extremely well in college. They are prepared for college. They earn college credits along the way at Mates, uh, and they learn how to manage their time, uh, which is extremely important. So as the British literature uh, teacher for your child, uh, I am really excited because this is a really, uh, this is a great time for them. This is an exciting time for them. I tell the students on day one that I consider this almost a pre-AP English class because I will be doing uh, quite a bit to prepare them for next year where they will be taking AP literature. Uh, it is also, next year is also uh, an OCC course where they have the um, opportunity to earn six college credits. So I try to prepare them for that. We do quite a bit of uh, writing, analyzing of literature. Uh, we have um, obviously book discussions. Uh, one big aspect of the class is uh, preparation for SAT. I know a lot of students at this point, um, either they've, they've taken it once already or they're planning to take it. I have a few students who I know have signed up for the, uh, the March SAT, so it's right around the corner. So I do spend time uh, doing um, quite a bit of uh, vocabulary, SAT prep with them. Um, to get them prepared for the SAT. So we spend some time doing that. Uh, another large aspect of this class is, um, again, preparation for the college application process. I know that it's now spring of their junior year. Their guidance counselors are meeting with them to talk about their plans for the future, for college, uh, what they need to do, uh, what they need to start getting in order. So um, I have actually already started working on their college resumes with them. I've had them, to, I've had them create a document and list their activities, their awards, their accomplishments. Uh, so they're working on that. I told them it's a fluid document. It's something that they are going to continue to add to throughout the course of the semester. By the end of the semester, they will have a completed college resume that they can submit to their colleges in the fall. We also will begin working on their college essays. Uh, that we'll, we'll address that closer to the end of the semester, and it'll be something that they will work on over the summer. That will be their summer assignment before senior year. But um, it's, it's extremely important, and I give them um, a lot of tips. I tell them what the colleges are looking for, and um, you know, just a, a nice story. I bumped into a former student's father the other night who um, commended me. He said that I'm the reason his son got into college, which is not the case. But um, his son had come to me with an essay uh, about being an EMT. And I said, that's great that you're an EMT, but I read so many essays about students who are EMTs. Let's do something different. So by the time he was finished with his essay, he wrote about uh, a fishing trip and how he caught his first trip and how on that day he went from a boy to a man. And he used it as a metaphor for growing up. And it was a phenomenal essay. So I really try to encourage your, your students, your children, to uh, choose something that's really personal to them because their college essay is an opportunity for them to share their personality with the colleges. So aside from that, obviously we read and we analyze literature. Uh, just to give you an idea of a few of the things that we do, uh, we have our um, British literature textbook um, that your students uh, may or may not be bringing home. It's quite big, um, but I do post everything in Google Classroom for them so that hopefully they don't have to bring that home. But uh, right now we are reading Beowulf in class, and while they're at home, they're reading Grendel, uh, which is actually the, the monster's version of the same story. So uh, it's nice for them to get the two different perspectives. So they should be reading this at home. Uh, we will also be reading uh, Frankenstein, and we will be reading uh, Lord of the Flies. These are the three uh, works of British literature uh, that we will be discussing, along with um, either Hamlet or Macbeth, um, definitely some play from Shakespeare. Uh, and uh, we'll have a lot of fun with that, especially in this hybrid environment. It's nice to be able to do a play so that they can all interact together. So I definitely look forward to teaching your child this year. Um, if you have any questions for me, please don't hesitate to reach out. Um, I am you know, excited to have your child, whether physically in my class or uh, virtually. Um, my goal is to make everyone feel like they are a part of the class and that they belong. And again, I look forward to a really exciting year. Thank you.